Okay, we're live. Hey guys, this is Angie at Chicken Scratch and today is Tuesday, June 6th. If you're watching this live, let me know if you can hear me. If you're watching the recording, thank you for watching. Okay, I'm just waiting for that first thumbs up. I think I heard a notification that we're live. And let me look for the comments. Okay, maybe I'm not live. Am I live? <gasps> okay, I see a thumbs up, but I don't see any comments. Sorry guys, every time we update our computers, you know, there's a new update, things get really wonky wonk, right? It's like things disappear or things appear and um, I can't really find the comments. Hmm. Help. They usually come flying across my screen. Give me just one second. Um, search comments. There y'all are. <laughs> I'll put the camera back on my face now just so I can say hello to all y'all. Um, sorry about that. It seems like about every other week um, our computers have to be updated or the software, software that we're using has to be updated. And uh, right before I went live, I accidentally knocked over my camera boom that holds the camera up there. It went crashing to the floor. <laughs> I'm a hot mess, as usual. Anyway, how are y'all doing? You can see the comments. Yeah, it was on my end. Um, yeah, and this is the box that we're making. Let's see if I can put that in the corner. There you go, yes. Look, it's a fishing lure box. Um, okay, so before we start talking about the project, let's, uh, let me show you the, yeah, so this is the project that we're making. Let me switch cameras. Um, put that in the corner, put me in the corner. So this is the project we're making today. It does hold a, um, a fishing lure, which I stole from my husband. And by the way, if you like really know your lures, I took this box out of his box and I took this bait out of his box or this lure. I don't even know what the name of it is. I just brought an empty box and threw a lure in there. He has lots and lots of lures. Uh, it will also hold this right here um, perfectly, which I'll show you when we make the box. But before we make the box, I wanted to show you the instant prizes so that you guys can hop over there and leave a comment. And this is not the Instant Prize. This is going to be the, the YouTube Chick Candy that I normally give away. I didn't do it last week because, you know, I was a hot mess. Okay, so if you want to enter to win our live uh, prizes tonight, that's not it. What was that? That's an old one. Um, I'm just getting you the link. Okay, there's the link. Let me make sure that my link works because um, I don't want to paste the wrong thing for y'all. One thing I, I have forgotten to mention, oh yeah, I need to get the link again because that is not the link. One thing I always forget to mention is that you do need a Google account to fill out this form. So if you don't have a Gmail or a Google account, it's free. Um, yeah, it's free. And I'm going to use the comment section to give y'all that uh, link to the form to fill out. Good evening. Oh, I'm sorry, Judy. The good thing about this stamp set is that it also has a happy retirement stamp set. 
So if your father has passed, you can also use happy retirement. Oops, let me get this here um, so you can see it. Yeah. I forgot to show y'all. Um, holy smokes. Did y'all hear that thunder? Let's hope and pray that um, I don't lose my power. It's flickered uh, four times in five days. I actually called the electric company today. I'm like, okay, I'm done. I've had it. This cannot keep happening. <laughs> okay, so prize number one that we're drawing tonight is this Best Friends Forever stamp set. And yes, it is a very old stamp set. We haven't had this green border in a long time, but it is a it is a brand new, unused stamp set. And I really like it. I love this image right here. It looks so beautiful as a background. So that's going to be the first prize we'll give away at the end of, of the video tonight. The second one is parcel, parcel, I can't say that word. Um, also a brand new, actually I used one. You're the best. <laughs> I tend to do that. I use greetings. And then the third one will be the knit together background um, stamp. Yeah, so those are the prizes we're giving away live tonight. And do you guys have any questions? It has thundered three days in a row. Okay, I'm going to take that off the screen. And we will announce the uh, YouTube Chick Candy, which is this stuff, in a little bit. About midway into the project. Okay, so this project is made with box template 114. And it's similar to many of the other boxes I've made. I just catered it to measure a fish and lure or the yummy breakfast yummy. I don't even know what they're called, biscotti. And that's, is that, is that a different language? I don't even know. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put the measurements on the screen real quick. Brooke is doing better. She still has some pain, uh, but she is doing better. Okay. Let me get my packet here, which is right here. Hi there. Okay, so I did have a question for y'all tonight. So here's all the supplies. I had just put the measurements on the screen. Yes, Brooke is doing much better. She's finished her antibiotics. She's feeling better. She's still not 100%, so I was really glad that her surgery, her eye surgery got postponed. Um, and now we've run into another little snag, which is like, I swear, our life is like a soap. It's like every single week something crazy is happening. Kind of like me dropping my, my camera boom falling in the floor. I was I was so sure that I had just cracked my camera or broke it. Thank you, Lord, that it wasn't. That's all I can say. Um, so she's supposed to have surgery next Wednesday on her eyes because she has holes in her eyes. And she found out today, she got a phone call today that the doctor's out of network. So she has seen this doctor twice. Um, and now they're just now figuring out that the hospital is out of network. Like I said, it's always crazy, always drama around here. So we are using five ink pads. Uh, Boho Blue, Real Red, Misty Moonlight, Wild Wheat, and Gray Granite. Yes, I love these two. Mmm. Not really allowed to have them. Okay, so I'm going to just be honest and say that if you had, I'm sorry, I have got to put lotion on my hands. They look like dried leather. <laughs> um, hey, wait, I turned my notifications off. Um, what was I saying? Oh, this stamp set would really like it if you use the Stamparatus, but since we don't sell it anymore, um, I can't use it. I'm not gonna use it, but I will say that lining up the ink um, with the outline, sometimes I struggle with that. I'm just gonna be honest. So I've never been very good at two-step stamping, which is what this is. Um, so let me put this ink pad in here. I'll move these out of the way because they are glaring. 
So I'm going to stamp the bobber there, and I'm using gray granite, and then I'm going to stamp, um, let's see, I think this one I prefer to stamp the solid and then do the outline, or do I? Well, I don't know. Let's see. Let's try. I want to go ahead and stamp this one a couple times because, like I said, let's just stamp all of them a couple times. That way, if I miss it, uh, I should get it the second time, right? Okay. Now, for the most difficult part. It's not really difficult, but it is for me. You wouldn't think I've been stamping for 21 years, right? Um, okay, boho blue is this one. I'm going to have to put my head in the camera. And maybe bring it closer. What do you know? Ha! Huh. I'm shocked. Pretty good, right? I mean, it's not, it's perfect to me. And now this one is wild wheat. So that was boho blue. And then wild wheat. I think this guy was the easiest to do because his eyeball lines up with that one. You know what I mean? See? <laughs> and then now the red, real red. The air quality in our state is bad, and they said that it's from Canada, from the forest fire, or the fires in Canada. Yeah, so we're going to stamp off with the real red. And let's see. Not too bad. I'm going to call it done, right? Yeah, they told us our air quality from like four to seven today was gonna be really bad. Um, yeah. And now I'm gonna stamp Happy Father's Day. But like I said, uh, you could also use Happy Retirement and you can also use a greeting from any other stamp set. I really like these fishing lures, even though David is not a fly fisherman he's more of a bass or a crappie or a walleye or bluegill um, but I still like the set yeah I like the font too oh you like the bag yeah so if y'all didn't see today let's see do I have it here yeah, these are the bags I posted today. The large one. I'm in a, and I'm giving one away this week. The large blue one. Navy. Okay, so we have the coordinating dies to cut all these out. And uh, let's go ahead and knock that out. Looks like the thunder has moved on. That's what it's been all week. It's been like really quick uh, storms. Okay, let's see. I need, let's get my machine first. And then I need a number one and a number two. I am not the most graceful. You already know that, right? Okay, there's that. And then, so for the dies, I'm going to go ahead and take this out. We'll start with the bobber first. And I need to get this closer to my face. Yeah, I filmed that video like a month ago, and I kept waiting for the perfect time to, to edit it and release it. And then I was like, there is no perfect time. I've had people that have asked me uh, numerous times, and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to do it today. I was supposed to be at the hospital with Brooke, and instead I went ahead and got that video edited and posted. I'm a little 
crooked, but it's okay. Now, the next one is this one. I'm probably going to use this box for David and give him some candy. We call him Snack Man because he loves candy. Well, he loves all snacks. He does not discriminate. When I went to the Dollar Tree last week, I got I came home with like 10 different candy. And he was like, whoa, what's going on? I'm like, well, we always travel to the lake house for the 4th of July. And, um, he likes to eat candy on the entire drive down there. <laughs> okay, last one. I'm not doing the best of jobs of cutting these out. But I actually did this in advance. Okay, let me mute my watch real quick so that y'all don't have to listen to it ding. Uh, mute for an hour. Okay, there's that. Now, these dies were gone fishing. The greeting came from the rut row. Where's the name? Here it is. I think it's Nested Essentials. I have not made the label yet. Um, okay, I put everything back. Close this up and get it out of the way. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the lures are, are okay for fishing, for bass fishing. But um, that one fly, that trout. Yeah, that's for trout, right? The fly fishing. Um, okay, let me get all my images here. And let's see. Well... Okay, this is the one I did earlier. My blue one, pretty good. And then which one looks the best on here? They look about the same. Okay, get rid of that. Now we're ready to make the box. I'm gonna slide this over, get my Simply Scored Scoring tool. Oh, Brooke and I had a heyday when we went to the Dollar Tree last week. It was like, I've never spent so much at the Dollar Tree. And it's, you know, everything was $1.25. Um, okay, I'm going to put the measurements back on the screen for a second. And I'll just make them smaller so that they won't cover up everything. Yeah, okay. So on the seven and a half inch side, well, you know what? Actually, I have the, the, the box right here. So I'll just remove that. Let me, okay. I'll straighten this. On the seven and a half inch side, we're going to score at a half an inch and one and a half. And we're going to do that on both sides. So a half an inch and one and a half. And then on the seven inch side, we're going to score at one inch, three and a quarter, four and a quarter. And six and a half. So if you guys are wondering like how we come up with certain box sizes, we usually design them around holding a specific product. For example, this one holds a lure or these little biscuits. Um, if you ever have something that you need a box for, let me know. I've actually had people send me product for me to design a box. It's been a while since that's happened, but when in our old house, I used to have it happen all the time. People would send me something and say, can you create a box for me? Um, so I am, uh-oh, I got lotion on here. Oh, well. Um, I am happy to do that again. Yes. During the move, I had to like say no to everything. <laughs> um, well, not no to everything, but you know what I mean, right? Okay, so we're going to start this this part right here is, um, I'm gonna move those right there. This half inch part 
is the top. And so we're going to start over here on the side. So we're going to cut up to the score line. Am I in the camera? Yeah, I am. Okay, now I'm going to fold this over. I'm going to cut on that score line and then angle cut this, okay? Then I'm going to fold this down for a second and I'm going to cut this one and then I'm going to angle cut it. Now, the rest of this up here, I'm going to cut it off. Okay. Now we're going to do the exact same thing over on the other side. Okay, fold that in. Cut here. Yeah, so some people today were saying that they missed what was going on with Brooke after the whole strep throat thing. She has holes in her eyes, which is called latticine. They typically see it in older patients, but for some reason, Brooke has it. So they have to go in and put adhesive to, to seal up those holes. And she has it in both eyes. So... Yeah, okay, so there it is. That's how it looks right now. The next thing we're gonna do is take a corner rounder. I think you can find them anywhere. I think I did get these at the, at the Dollar Tree though, right? Yeah, and a dollar twenty-five is a pretty good price. Okay, there's that part. The next thing we're gonna do is take a one inch punch, which is also retired, but hopefully all of y'all have one. And I'm just gonna notch it right there, okay? So we're gonna place our adhesive on these two tabs. You're welcome. One time I created like a double a double holder box. I can't even remember what what it was what we called it. And I don't think I ever filmed a video on how to do it. It was like um man, I should put that on my list to do this year for Halloween. It was a really neat box. Yeah, why didn't I do a video? <laughs> I should have. I'm thinking, I'm silent because I'm thinking. I'm trying to remember what she used it for. I know Vicki had me create a box for her homemade uh, pimento cheese that she made. Okay. Now I'm gonna use the take your pick tool to remove the backing. I just remembered something. I forgot my hole punch. Do I have it here? Oh, I have it here. Yay! I was like, oh no. Oh, I have a question for y'all. I know I'm paper crafting, but I'm fixing to ask you a sewing thing. It, I have never, ever, ever attempted to go live and sew live. I wonder if there's any interest. 
Anybody interested? What do you think? You'll have to let me know. You don't have to comment on this. You can send me an email. Um, okay, I'm putting that in there so that y'all can see that it fits and it kind of makes it easier to decorate when there's something in there, okay? It's, it closes really nicely. I love it. So now let's attach our designer series paper. I'm going to use liquid glue. I have a, another question too. So uh, y'all send me an email if you want me to if you want me to attempt going live. I might actually not do it on my on this channel. I might do it on a, on my Sew so Chicken Scratch channel just because I would be terrified of losing all my paper crafter subscribe <laughs> paper crafting subscribers. Like I'd see like a huge drop. Um, yeah, but send me an email. And let me know. My other question is is that. I have noticed that there are fewer people on my live video now. There are fewer in attendance. And it's not even really summer yet. kind of is, but not really. Um, so I'm wondering, um, should I be going live earlier in the day? Like, are y'all, are a lot of y'all, I got to take that out. Um, is it too late for y'all? And if you're watching the recording afterwards, let me know. I mean, I would be happy to move this up to like 3.30 or 4. Because uh, I am definitely not my best at, at 7. Yeah, I always say I'm not firing on all cylinders. Because by this time of day, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> it's a fact. I always say that's another thing of over 50. Okay, where to put that hole punch? I gotta repunch that. No, I'm not gonna make any changes right now. Rut row. Um, but I have wondered. You know what I mean? Okay, put this back in there. I guess I can put this over here. We have two more pieces of paper to add and then we can decorate this box. I guess I should ask how many of my people or how many of y'all are watching are on uh, specific Pacific time because I know those of us on Central time and Eastern time earlier is better. Um, but usually, I used to have a lot of California people. Are y'all still here? Um, okay, there's that. Now, I'm going to take the hole punch and punch. You know what, I think that's too big. Ugh, it's too big. So we're just gonna do this. I hear thunder again. Is it coming back around? Okay, thank y'all. I like seeing your comments. There's that one. Yeah. One more. If I don't use this surface, then I'll rip my paper. Okay, now, we're gonna take some linen thread. Well, let's go ahead and add the greeting first. We're gonna pop that up with dimensionals. Oh, I forgot to announce the, um, the YouTube chick candy. Let's take, a little, let's take a little break and we'll do that real quick and then we'll finish this box. I know that was overkill. I do not need four dimensionals on this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't need four. I really only needed two, but it's okay. So I'm going to slide everything aside for just a minute and um, come here. Okay. 
So let me put this up on the screen. We're gonna take a little commercial break. So we're gonna talk about a couple different things. Uh, don't forget to enter to win the instant prizes tonight. Okay, y'all, ca my California people are still here. So there's the link to enter to win the instant chick candy that we're gonna be offering in about five or so minutes. Yeah, um, how do I get that off the screen? Now, YouTube Chick Candy, we're making a little slight change. I was giving three prizes away to three different people. Um, I'm changing it up. And I was announcing the winner on Thursdays. I'm changing it. So I'm going to have one winner for this, for this week. I'm not saying I'm keeping it this way, but for now, this is what it is today. Um, so the way you enter to win is when the mo movie, when the video is over, you leave a comment on this video on YouTube. Sorry about y'all that are watching on Facebook. Um, I can use comment picker on online and it draws the winner. So it's perfect for, I don't have to count. I don't have to create a spreadsheet. I use comment picker and it draws all the winners. Sorry, my hair is in the way. Um, so the prizes are, let me take this off of here, and I will announce the winner next Tuesday. So you have a whole week to enter to win. So this navy fabric basket that I made, it's a very nice size. I love this color, but I'm giving it away to somebody. Somebody will be very happy. And then um, you're also gonna get uh, the Regent, Regency Park Designer Series paper. I thought that matched this really well, right? And then star crossed embossing folder and the adhesive backed hexagons. Okay, so that is our instant chick candy. And all you have to do is leave a comment on this video on YouTube, and you have until next Tuesday to enter the win by leaving a comment. A uh, couple more reminders. Uh, designer Series paper is on sale right now, 15% off. And the list of that is over on my website. I also have the PDF here so you can see all of these are, are listed on the PDF uh, that's over on my website. And one last thing. I do have a host code, but did I delete it? I may have deleted it. Grr, it's gone. There's a host code over on my website. Yeah, hop over there and see it. <laughs> now, let's add these lures. So we're gonna be using some linen thread. And this one's just gonna get glued on right there. And you know what? This is what's even easier. You can use liquid glue, but the glue dots work so fantastic. You're just gonna add it right here in the corner, like that. Now for these two, this is the hardest part is threading this. And technically if you don't want to, you don't have to. You can just kind of pretend that you're um, threading it. I'll try one more time and if I don't do it, then we're just gonna do a fake. Oh, it went through. See, it heard me. <laughs> Come on. Well, that made it worse. <laughs> One more attempt. Usually when I say that, it works, right? See? Okay, now, we're gonna add this here, like that, and I'm gonna use a dimensional on the bobber just at the bottom, okay? Okay, now for this, we're just going to loop that around and add just a drop of glue over here to hold that down. Let's see. You know I'm not the most graceful person. 
I used to have an assistant. Her name was Leslie, and she used to say that she had dumb thumbs. I always cracked up every time she said that, but sometimes that's how I feel like when I'm working with something like this because it's like, oh my goodness gracious. It has, it's like possessed. Okay, I'm just gonna put one drop of liquid glue and then do that little, y'all probably saying, does she really do this stuff? Okay, we're gonna hold it and let it dry. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And then after it's dry, you can um, trim the end. Ooh. Grr, come on. Who would have who would have thought that it would take me forever to just do the ribbon? Oh, I have to tell y'all, I was doing a voiceover uh, recording uh, the other day, and I kid you not, like something kept happening. Oh, the the lawn the neighborhood lawnmower guy um, started going. <laughs> I mean, the minute I hit record, the neighbor and I'm not going to complain because they do mow the green space behind our house, but I'm just going to say that the minute I press record, and then he went down the street, and I thought, okay, I can record. All of a sudden, I got a frog in my throat. <laughs> I started cracking up on the video. Of course, I had to delete it and start all over again because I was like, well, this ain't going to work. Okay. That will eventually dry. It's cute though, right? And then the last step is, I think that twine linen thread took me the longest of anything, um, is our embellishment. Where are they? But tonight we're using the In Color, In Color Dots. Okay, now, these are so beautiful. Card club ladies, y'all are, are getting these in your swag bag. Um, and listen, I have to tell y'all. So I took a, I took a gamble. I, I decided to use Hey Chuck for my card club for this month. And I was a little terrified that... Um, I was going to lose a bunch of subscribers. Like, I was so terrified. But my heart said, I've been asking for animals, and they're giving them to me, so I'm going to use them. And so I'm so happy to report that I actually got several. I had more people join this month than, um, did I lose my adhesive? I had several people. There's no adhesive on that one. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I had more people join this month than any other month after the first month. Now, the first month we had a bunch. Uh, but every month we've had some join. This month we had a bunch join, so I was so excited. And yay, thank y'all. I was so happy that y'all like the, the roosters. Yeah, they're so funny. Okay, what do y'all think? Pretty cute, right? I have the funniest things that happen to me. You know, my daddy, I think my daddy says that things happen to us because it gives us something to talk about. Because I always say I don't really have the gift of gab. Like on the spot, I'm very awkward and don't really know what to say. Um, but God gives me all these stories to tell and they are, they're kind of funny and sometimes <laughs> kind of not. But yeah. That's our story. We're, we say that things happen because it gives us something to talk about. Um, yes, the end color dots are on low inventory, but I got mine ordered and everyone will be getting theirs. So yes, they are on low inventory. 
Um, but they've been on low inventory now for about two weeks. So maybe they're not selling or maybe they'll sell out tonight after y'all have seen how cute they are. They are using all the new in colors and um, we're using the new in colors for the Hey Chuck Card Club. Okay, if I, and I didn't answer many questions tonight. Um, if I missed your question or you had something you wanted me to answer, um, shoot me an email. Um, here is my, let me put up this and then I'll put up my email. So here's my email, helpdesk at chickenscratch.com. And I will answer you as long as it's a question I can answer. There's sometimes there's questions I can't. Uh, Jackie wants to know what's on the end of my take your pick tool. <laughs> this has a funny story. So, um, this is a hot glue gun finger protector. So when I got it in, I was, I make wreaths, designer series paper wreaths, and I don't know what else I make, but I use a hot glue gun fairly often. And these, these are suggested so that you don't burn your fingers. But when I got it in, cause I have fat fingers, I don't know why, but I do. Um, it would cut the circulation off, it was so tight. So I was looking for something to put it on to stretch it out and I was like, oh, perfect, it fits on here. And then I was like, oh, I like sticking that on there because that makes it pretty because I like pink. Anyway, there you go, that's the story. <laughs> uh, let's see. So Karen's son is a fisherman. Um, yeah, this bundle is a keeper. I like it. Can I move the box to the viewing area? Yeah, there you go. Did I not have it in the viewing area? Uh, Rita, I'm working on the paper chart for Hello Irresistible. It took me a couple hours to find the paper, but it's behind me. So yes, I will get it done Thursday. It's on my list for Thursday. Yeah, my head, my head was covering the box. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was going to say something funny, but I'm not. Uh, you would love to see a sewing video. Okay. Hi, Kathy. I hope you're doing well. Um, let's see. I don't see any questions. Y'all can email me. I'll take that off the screen now, though. Ooh, come back here. Okay, so let's do these instant prizes. Let me give you one more opportunity. You do have to have a Google account to enter to win the uh, instant prizes. I'll put this over here so that you can still see the box boxes. And if anybody's showing up late, here is the, um, the lure. Ooh, the lights, the lure. Um, instant prizes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna show you some new product really quick. This is product that's gonna be available in July. So as a demonstrator, we were, we were able to pre-order it, and, um, and I did. Although, yeah, I ordered them because I wanted to show y'all. Um, this is called the Horse and Sleigh Bundle. Yeah, and the Horse and Sleigh Dies. Okay, and then Timeless Charm and the Timeless Charm Dies. I'm so glad they have the same names, aren't y'all? I guess they're upside, upside down. Um, and then, oh, I, make, I made the photocopies before. Look at this beautiful paper. Well, here is the Adhesive Back Snowflake Assortment. And I'm going to move these out of the way. So those will be available in July. This paper will be available in July. And I almost think this paper might be, might sell out really quickly because it is absolutely beautiful. I mean beautiful. Okay, so this is page one. Look at this. Oh my gosh. And then here's this one. And then... Y'all probably can't see it because of my big head. You know what? Let me move me over and make me smaller. How about that? Let's go smaller and in the corner. Okay, now. There's that one. 
and then here's this one and then here's look at that I love that here's this one. Oh, let me flip over the other side look at this one oh, so pretty isn't it and the flip side is that mm, that one don't float my boat but here's this one nice and then this one yes I'll be making a paper oh I love this one. Oh my gosh look at these two together wouldn't that be fabulous I love new product. Okay, so there's that one. Oh, look, look at his ears. <gasps> Isn't that the cutest little deer you've ever seen? Oh, it's big old ears. We have an owl that sits in the tree back here. Speaking of, I know, how did I go from a deer to an owl? We have a barn owl that's sitting back here every night and he watches for food and we have binoculars on a stand and we watch him. Chase was over last night and we're like, dude, look through the binoculars, look. Um, ooh, that one's pretty too. And I like this one. Ooh, this is a fabulous pack of paper. Okay, I suspect that's a fox. Oh, we have baby foxes at the lake house again. There's so many of them. I'll have to get a video for y'all. Ooh, lovely. Isn't this a fabulous pack of paper? Okay, the name of it is One Horse Open Sleigh. That will not be hard to remember. And it'll be available in July. And it's online exclusives, so they're while supplies last. So if you snooze, you lose, yeah. Uh, okay, now we're going to do the instant prizes. Where'd I put them? Behind me. I know this is old product, but like I said, I don't have an abundance of the new product because um, I don't. Yeah, okay. Let me pull up the drawing. So last call for um, to enter to win. Rut row. Give me a minute to big pull it up have to go to my Google Drive. Okay. We have 109 responses and I've officially turned it off. Okay, so now I'm gonna open up the spreadsheet that has everybody's name on it. It takes, it takes a couple minutes because it's generating all the names. So I'm sorry it's taken a while, but yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna copy and paste, so let me get my keyboard. Hey, where did the names go? Well, that's just the weirdest thing ever. There's no names on here. 110 of y'all have left a comment. I just gotta find, find where the comments are. Oh. <laughs> I opened the form back up because I think me closing the form kind of stopped it. So, yeah. There is 111. I know 110. I don't want to do the header. Copy. And then let's go to Wheel of Names. And then I'm going to share my screen. And okay, can y'all see my screen? So, number one was the Best Friends Forever stamp set. Sandy is our winner. Sandy, if you do not want this stamp set, you can uh, email me and let me know. I think I just spelled your name wrong. You can let me know and I'll just send you an assortment of designer series paper, okay? The second winner is going to get the parcels and petals stamp set. Congrats, Mandy. 
Same thing, if you don't want this stamp set, let me know and I will send you an assortment of designer series paper. And the last winner Harriet, congrats Harriet. I'll recap those again in just a second. So let me take this off the screen and close this. Okay, so let's recap that. Now, ignore my writing. It is seriously like kick and scratch, but I can read it. So Sandy was winner number one and she won the Best Friends Forever stamp set. Winner number two was Mandy. And she won the parcel, parcels and petals. I really struggled with that one. And then Harriet won the Knit Together Background Stamp. Okay, any last minute question before I sign off? Congrats, everyone. I do need your addresses. Um, let's see. I was going to take this off. You can send them to this email, the help desk, because I don't think I have the, uh, oh, I don't know that y'all can see that. If you, that's the form to fill out to claim your chick candy. If you take a screenshot, those of you that won, or you can just email it to this help desk at Chicken Scratch, okay? Yes, congrats everyone, and thank you guys so much for being here. Okay, I'm going to sign off. I will be here next Tuesday. Um, we don't have anything going on. Uh, don't forget to um, shoot me an email if you would like to watch a, sewing, a live sewing video. Yeah, a live one. I don't know. I might not. Oh, Cliffy. Hi, Cliffy. I didn't mean to ignore you today. I just was trying to get ready for tonight. I saw you sent me a text. I'll answer it after dinner if that's okay. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I'm multitasking here. Anywho, um, yeah, I'll see y'all next Tuesday. Thank you so much and have a good night. Congrats to all of our winners.